meteorologist Chris Boone. Well, it was a hot one, but the skies have cleared out pretty nicely throughout the past several hours. And going into the evening hours, we're going to expect those mostly clear skies going in towards tomorrow. We did see some showers start to develop up in the Texas panhandle, but unfortunately for us, as far as looking for rain, all of it stayed well off towards the north. It's going to be until the weekend before we get our better rain chances. Otherwise, temperatures did warm up into the mid-90s. 94, so certainly above average, not just for the afternoon highs, which was 11 degrees above average, but the overnight lows also started on the warmer side. We got only down to 70 degrees, so that's about 16 degrees above where we should be. Still staying away from those records, but still a well above average for this time of year and it has been dry as well. 80 degrees right now in downtown San Angelo, taking its time to kind of slowly cool off. You know, when those winds out of the south at 14 miles per hour, they have not died down really that much at all. We saw that last night as those winds, normally you would start to see them die down as you get closer towards sunset, but that's not going to be the case for tonight either as those winds are going to stay fairly breezy. 70s for much of the Conjo Valley, 77 in Coleman, 76 for Eden, Brady, Menard, Junction, as well as Mason, a little pocket of 76s out here in the southeastern parts of the Concho Valley. And again, those winds still gusting up to nearly 30 miles per hour across most of the Concho Valley. So still going to hear those howling winds as you go through the overnight hours. That's going to continue going into tomorrow as well. Tonight, temperatures dropping down into the mid-60s and lower 70s across the area. Still looking at those breezier conditions. And then as we get into the morning hours, we'll start to see a little bit more of that cloud development. We're going to see that those clouds continue to increase going into tomorrow. Again, increasing that cloud coverage. Temperatures very similar to what we saw today. Again, getting into the mid to low 90s. And those winds hanging on, hanging on with gusts up to 35 miles per hour at times. So again, very breezy day in store. And those winds, they're going to continue not just for us on Friday, staying out of the south, but going to continue for Saturday as well. As we get later into Saturday, we start to see those winds begin to calm down just a tad bit, and that's preparing for that cold front as it begins to make its arrival. It's going to start to turn those winds out of the north. It's also going to be bringing us some rain chances. That front has slowed down just a little bit in the models, and that's good for two reasons. It cuts down on the severe weather threat. Again, normally you see those faster moving storms. Those have the more damaging winds with it. But also with slowing down, it increases the amount of rain that we're going to be able to get with that system as it makes its way through. So increased cloud coverage as we go into your Friday. That's going to linger throughout the day. Then on Saturday, especially during the evening going in towards Sunday, we'll start to see those showers really develop. And it's going to become more widespread for us on Sunday. So Sunday is going to be the best chance for more of the heavier precipitation. And that continues through Sunday, most of the day on Sunday. And then on Monday, we'll start to see it eventually begin to push off towards the east and southeast. But again, very slow moving. So again, a lot of chances for rain before it finally makes its way out of our area. We'll start to clear conditions out going into your Tuesday and towards the middle of next week. Rain totals with this next system could be pushing in towards the one to two inch range. So some very beneficial rain for the area. And we can see some of those heavier downpours in some of those localized thunderstorms. And speaking of storms, that is today's code word. If you're trying to win one of the weather alert radios, just go to our website, ConchoValleyHomePage.com. Click on the contest tab and put in today's code word, which is storm. And hopefully we'll be seeing some of those storms this weekend as we get those rain chances to return to the Concho Valley. Breezy for the next couple of days. Then those winds turn more out of the north. Much cooler going into your Sunday as temperatures only get into the 70s and 60s for the start of next week with some rain chances that I know a lot of people are looking forward to in the Concho Valley.